This is day four of seven days of Oh It's a Challenge. I've been posting the videos late at night. Sorry for that. I have to wait for her to get home from school. So we're teaching you how to make these caramel popcorn Santa sacks. You know where he puts his presents? Yeah. That kind of sack. <laughs> As you can see, they look like sacks. At first it was supposed to be ornaments, but yeah. Jeanette pointed out that they look more like Santa's um, toy sack. Toy sack. <laughs> so let's get started. Hey guys, it's Jeanette and I'll be telling you what you'll need. You'll need about three tablespoons of popcorn kernels, two thirds of a cup of brown sugar, a fourth of a cup of butter, that's four tablespoons, three tablespoons of light corn syrup, half a teaspoon of baking soda, a fourth teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Let's get started. Put a tablespoon of oil in a pot. Add your three tablespoons of popcorn kernels. Mix it together to distribute the oil. Set your stove to medium-high heat. Put the cover on and wait for your popcorn to pop. Once it starts popping, shake the pot so the bottom doesn't burn. In a separate pot, add in your one-fourth of a cup of butter, your two-thirds of a cup of brown sugar, then add your three tablespoons of corn syrup, add your one-fourth teaspoon of salt, and mix it until it boils. When it starts boiling, add in your one half teaspoon of baking soda and one half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Also, take it off the heat. When you mix in the baking soda, it changes the texture of the caramel. Pour your caramel into the popcorn and mix it. Once it's cooled, use your hands to form it into a ball and place it in a muffin tin to keep its shape. When you're done filling the muffin tins, put this in the oven at 200 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. This sets the caramel. Make sure to check it every couple of minutes so it doesn't burn. Once your popcorn balls are out of the oven and cooled, you can now start decorating it in cellophane and tie the top with gold ribbon. Be sure to cut off any excess ribbon and cellophane. And then that's it, you're done. This is what it should look like. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, comment challenges below, and follow us on our social media. The links are in the description below. Happy Holidays!